Aquarius, welcome back to the channel. Monica Louv here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading from June 15th to July 15th. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Sagittarius, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge here is the Page of Swords, and what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Three of Pentacles in reverse, okay? So Sagittarius, your biggest challenge here is the Page of Swords. I feel like your biggest challenge between now and mid-July has a lot to do with you trying to find information about something. It's like you're researching something, you're finding something out, you're wanting to get to the bottom of something you need to figure out what it is that, um, you know, there's something here about you needing answers to something. Okay, and we're going to clarify the Page of Swords and see why it's your challenge in a moment. Now, in the recent past, you have the Two of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like in the recent past, there's something here that showed up in your life. I do feel like it was new love, a relationship, strong relationship came into your life, very solid soulmate that may have came in. This person's certainly, you know, a part of your destiny. I do feel like they are soulmates here in the recent past, or at least this is what you thought. We're going to clarify this and get more information for you in a moment. Now, in the present moment, you have the Knight of Pentacles, the King of Wands, and the Judgment. Somebody here is like, first of all, there's two different energies, okay? There's you, and then there's your person, or whoever it is that you're dealing with. It doesn't have to be romantic. It could be for some of you, it is romantic. For most of you, it is romantic. I am getting that this person's either moving really slowly towards you or you may be moving really slowly. I feel like it's your person that's moving slowly towards you. And the reason why this may be is because with the Knight of Wands here, there's something here about you not coming to some sort of realization about this connection. So even though in the past it felt really uh, good, it felt like a good relationship, it felt like this person was a part of your destiny, it was new love, there's some sort of uncertainty in the present moment. You have the judgment as well too. So there's something here that you're being called to realize. Uh, another thing I wanna to mention to you, Sagittarius, is if you've been on and off with this person, that may be the reason why this person's deciding to move slowly towards you. We're gonna clarify and see. Now, in the near future, you have the Five of Swords, the Moon, and the Eight of Cups. So I feel like in the near future, somebody here is choosing to emotionally disconnect. They're choosing to emo emotionally, excuse me, disconnect from this connection because of the Five of Swords energy. You have to be careful because in the near future, I see somebody trying to interfere, okay, into some sort of emotional situation that you're attached to. You have the Moon here. And for me, lately, the Moon has been talking to me about emotional uh, bonds, connections. You know, it's like the, the, the bond that we have with mom right you know with our mothers the womb the the moon is the feminine okay so it's like you're attached to something here but because around the full moon possibly you may decide to walk away or disconnect because of some sort of interference something here stops working out three of pentacles you need to be aware of that because of a lack of communication so if you if you find out that there's a lack of communication or there's issues between you and your person because of communication. It could be because someone is interfering in the near future and you need to be aware of that, okay? And this is why your challenge here is the Page of Swords because you're trying to get to the bottom of why something is transpiring or taking place for you. So let's get into your reading and let's clarify. Let's clarify the Page of Swords. So the Page of Swords is clarified by the star. You have the Nine of Cups and the Six of Swords. So your biggest challenge here has a lot to do with... Uh why someone here has left or why you've disconnected. I do feel like your biggest challenge is about an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Aquarius or a Gemini. 
this person has either left or disconnected from you and you've kind of been left you know being in this place of trying to find happiness and satisfaction within you there's something here about you planning for the future or planning to heal and you're trying to make sense of this right it's like you know maybe this is a test maybe i'm supposed to be on my own to see if i can be happy on my own there's something here about you planning for the future despite this person leaving so if they've left and you're still trying to make sense of why they left. It's not so much about you making sense about why they left Sagittarius more than it is about your happiness in your future. Because if you're in a place of happiness on your own and you're in a place of planning for your future on your own, if this is the right person, they're just going to come along with you. It's not something that you have to overanalyze or research to figure out. And that's what you experienced here in the past because you have the two of cups and the wheel of fortune. It's like something here just flowed in the past and you didn't have to question it. You didn't have to be like, well, is this the one? Is this the person I'm supposed to be with? Is this new love worth my time? No, it was just a feeling. You just felt it. And you're like, yeah, this, this feels good. This is how this is how life's supposed to be. <laughs> it's supposed to be happy and feel good. And 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 if I'm with somebody, I don't have to question if this person's for me because I'm just gonna feel it. Right? That's what I feel like happened in the past. Tell me more about this relationship, this connection that Sagittarius experienced here in the recent past. So the two of cups is clarified by the seven of wands. You have the five of cups and the temperance. So in the recent past, I do feel there was some sort of hesitation between you and this person because you had a bad experience. Okay. So a bad experience in the, not in the recent past, but in the past past happened. And then when this new love came in, you're like, Ooh, new love. Okay, great. You know, then you experienced it. It was nice. It was good. And then there was a lot of resistance. There was a bit of resistance coming from you. Like, can I trust this person? Is this person for me? Are they not for me? But it just, what spirit is saying about the past here, Aries, is how, ask yourself this one important question. In the past, when you met this new person and you started to have a relationship with them, how did you feel? At, at some point, you felt like this person was the one. And spirit is saying, it is time for you to look at your emotions and look at your feelings. Your emotions and your feelings regarding any situation in your life are valid. Actually, our emotions are connected to our intuition. So when someone says we're crazy because we're listening to our emotions and we're listening to how we feel, it's not that we're crazy. It's that we're actually listening to our intuition, our subconscious mind, which again is connected to the moon, the mother in the womb. When you're in the womb, you're growing. You have nerves. You have feelings. You have all of that. You have experiences. So there's something here about you connecting with someone here on a very deep level. And you still question it here. You still questioned it in, here in the past. Now, in the present moment, uh, you know, something here is trying to be brought to your attention with the judgment. I feel like you've kind of been really busy or you've been on and off and you really haven't had time to really think about this situation. Tell me more about the Knight of Wands for Sagittarius. So the Knight of Wands is clarified by the Nine of Wands, the Chariot, and the Queen of Cups. So in the present moment, you're trying to figure out whether or not you should move forward with this person. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Could also be a Leo. I'm getting uh, another Sagittarius or maybe a Scorpio. I'm also getting a Capricorn, Virgo, or a Taurus. This person's moving slowly towards you because they still sense hesitation from you. They still don't know if you're 100% certain about them. And this person's ready to offer you love. This person really really likes you. They have a lot of emotions. For some of you, this person's pregnant in the present moment, or they will become pregnant. You don't know this yet, but it will come to your attention. And at that point, Sagittarius, you will need to determine if you're ready to move forward with this person without having these boundaries. There's something here about you closing yourself off from this person, setting boundaries, being afraid to get hurt. All of these things are showing up. And the only reason why this person's moving slow, like I said, was because of these like, how do I say it? It's like barriers or you create some sort of energetic blockages. You may not you may not consciously be aware of this, but subconsciously you're doing it. Okay. Cause your whole reading right now is about the moon. There's something here about the moon. That's very important for you. The next full moon. Uh, I don't know what sign the next full moon is going to be in, but it's going to affect the fire signs a lot. Leo and Sagittarius, uh, is what I'm getting. Those two signs are going to be the most affected. 
Tell me more about this realization that Sagittarius uh, is being called to realize here with the judgment. So you have the Knight of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, and the Eight of Swords. This person who's offering you love right now, okay? If you want them to remain being this place of being consistent with you, because for some of you, again, the dynamics are going to be different. But for some of you, you're in a relationship or you're in a connection with someone here where you're like, yeah, I want to move forward with this person, but they're moving too slowly. And you're trying to make sense of why this person's moving too slowly. Like I said, it's because you create blockages and barriers energetically for this person. You sometimes act like you don't really want this with them, or at least that's how they they um, look at you and view you. And this person wants you to come to some sort of realization about you getting serious with them. It's like, let's get serious. Let's start making plans. Let's get serious about our relationship. You know, let's move forward. Let's do what we need to do. And if that doesn't happen, because this person right now in the present moment, they feel, okay, I'm just going to be keep it real with you. They feel like they're giving a lot to the situation, Sagittarius. They That's what they feel. I'm not saying that they are, but that's what they feel. And if they don't see some sort of reciprocation coming back, to, to to them from you, they may decide to disconnect from this, okay? And that's the biggest thing that you need to recognize here because your biggest challenge here has the star. The star is about what? Moving forward. It's about the future. Wishing on a star. For some of you, this person left in the past and they may leave again in the future, okay? This is what you need to be prepared for. Tell me more about the five of swords in the near future for Sagittarius. So the King of Pentacles is clarified by the Six of Cups. You have the Hermit and the King of Pentacles. So in the near future, I'm really strongly getting there's something here about someone from your past Okay, coming back and interfering with this connection in the near future. For others of you, this is about you needing to go within and really recognizing um you know, the challenges between you and this person in the near future, because there's some sort of challenges regarding the past. It's like, you know, I'm ready to move forward. I'm ready to move forward to my future. And it seems like that's not happening here in the near future, because something here from the past is creating some sort of conflict. And what that leads to is the eight of cups. Somebody here is disconnecting in the near future. Why is this happening? Tell me about the eight of cups in the near future for Sagittarius. So the Eight of Cups is clarified by the Seven of Cups. You have the Page of Swords and the Ace of Wands. You see, this is all about you ha um, having a new beginning and you have the Page of Swords here, which is your challenge. So you're trying to figure out in the near future why there's so much um, uncertainty here. There's something here about uncertainty. And what I'm strongly feeling, Sagittarius, for you, this is about expressing your emotions. I did mention this a few readings back. This is about you expressing your emotions, expressing your feelings, expressing, you know, what it is that you want, what it is that you don't want. And it's 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 almost like somebody here is not really expressing something. That's why the moon is here. It's like they're hiding. They're not really saying what, what they need to say. And that kind of leads to this energy of feeling, you know, disconnected from you, or it's like there's not enough emotional energy available here for something to work. So what's being hidden here in the near future? The moon is clarified by the Knight of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, this new person that came into your life in the recent past who's still very much considered new love to you, they want to know how you really feel about them. They really need to know because you're in this place, Sagittarius. I'm going to be really honest with you. You know, between now and July, mid-July, you're like on and off with this person. You're like there one minute, and then you're not. You're there one minute, and then you're not. There's a lack of consistency here. And this is why this person is being inconsistent with you, okay? So they're only mirroring what you're doing to them. And that's why something here stops working because there's a lack of communication. There needs, you know, between now and mid-July, you need to start working on the communication. This is paramount for this relationship to last, this beautiful relationship that is very much a part of your destiny, okay? So let's get some advice. So the advice is the Seven of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles. You need to figure out what it is that you want, 
I'm just going to keep it real with you. You need to figure out what you want. You need to make sure you're very clear about what you want. And then you need to make a decision. Once you make a decision, there's something here that you are going to have to abandon and release. And I don't know what that is. For some of you, you have like a whole bunch of stuff going on. And in order for you to achieve what it is that you want, you need to hone it down and you need to pick two things and focus on two things or pick one thing and focus on one thing. Because if you have all this stuff going on, on all it does is lead to confusion. It leads to a lack of communication. It leads to this person feeling like you don't want them because your energy is scattered. So you need to figure out Sagittarius. And this is why your challenge here is a page of swords, because you're going to be doing a lot of research, trying to figure out what it is that you want, honing it down to one thing, choosing it, and then focusing on it. Uh, and that's why your challenge is a page of swords. Because a decision is eventually going to have to be made in order for you to preserve this relationship, this connection that you're in, and in order for it to completely move forward successfully, okay? So Sagittarius, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.